What's up everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had that strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, y'all, real quick, when it comes to this case with Binance's CEO, CZ, at first, I didn't know what to really think about it, so I took it back to the Lord. So the Lord reminded me October 29th that he gave me a series of dreams, and one of those dreams involved a framing, literally a court case. The Lord said they are trying to frame him. And at first, I thought it was Trump. I'm like, okay, huh, but that's too obvious. We know they're trying to frame Trump. That's like in a plain sight, but the Binance stuff was not. And God says, I will show you great and mighty things, you know, that you do not know. We already know, well, me, because he gave me the dream, I already knew they was trying to frame Trump, but I didn't know that they were trying to frame CZ. And that's what I had to think about. It was only two big court cases with men, Trump and CZ. So we know the SEC has a history of attacking XRP, all these different crypto exchanges and stuff like that. Because the enemy don't want what God is trying to do to come to pass. So he's doing the best he can to stop it. And so CZ was very smart. He pleaded guilty in order to save everything, because he knew he didn't need to be there to keep Binance running. He knew that. He knew it. He was really, really smart about it, because had he not done it, I have a bad feeling they were going to do something else to him. The enemy is ruthless like that, and I don't know if that man has a good relationship with God or not, but uh, he ain't stupid. The enemy's desperate, and they have people go missing and all types of stuff. So just understand him pleading guilty, the Lord knew the result. So what he's been doing lately is telling me that the results of these cases or these situations, because the news is not going to report it truthfully. Like the thing with the Rainbow Bridge, not truthful. All this other stuff, not truthful. So God told us what was really going to happen before all of it came out. And that's why I thank him. This is going to fall into a plan that the Lord has. And I don't know what it is, but the enemy thinks this is a victory. And it's a false victory. He's falling into God's trap. So, look, all the cards are lining up. This is why I keep telling people you cannot look at the physical world for what it is because God is God. One thing people got to stop doing is looking at things from a physical world sense, okay? SEC is clearly the enemy working to try to stop everything God has in store. I told y'all once before, SEC is like Pharaoh and the Egyptians, trying to stop everything, chasing after the Israelites, right? You ain't about to be free. That's all. CZ knew if he pleaded guilty, they would get off his case and Binance his case because they would expect a major downfall of Binance. You know, they just wanted them out of the way. The enemy did. Cause he's trying to battle God, but he just don't know he's going to get knocked upside the head. <laughs> so this one, I really wasn't expecting until the Lord had to really show me and remind me of the October 29th dreams he gave me. Very interesting. But you know, we do the background, the prior word and the event itself. So here we go. The next part of the dream, which is a continuation, there was a court case going on. Everyone that told the truth got framed and the similar fate happened to them. They were getting framed. 
and threatened. And I could tell the case the person was mainly about was a lie, like it was to frame the person. So the Lord said this, they are trying to frame him. Any truthful person will be arrested. Deals, favors, understandings, exposure is coming. All right. This was a lot, by the way. He gave me like a lot of pieces. Got breaking news uh, right now regarding Binance. Our Kate Rooney following that story for us. Kate, what do we know? Hey, Scott, so Binance and its CEO plan to strike a plea deal with the DOJ. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. They're citing sources familiar with the matter. This is the world's largest crypto exchange, CE, the uh, CZ, rather, the CEO. Cheng Peng Zhao is expected to plead guilty to violating criminal U.S. anti-money laundering laws again. Journal here citing sources. It preserves the company's ability to operate, though. CZ is scheduled, according to the journal, to appear in a Seattle federal court this afternoon to enter his plea. Binance is owned by Zhao. He's the majority owner. He is going to uh, plead guilty here to criminal charges and agree to pay fines of about $4 billion, $4.3 billion. And that includes amounts to settle civil allegations made by regulators. This would allow Zhao to retain his majority ownership of Binance. According to the journal, he will not have an executive uh, role at the company. I did speak to a source close to the company who says that this has been on the table for years. CZ step stepping down has been something that U.S. regulators have been seeking for about three years now. The source telling me regulators have been seeking his removal. It ends this years-long investigation by the DOJ. A source also saying that Richard Tang is seen as the heir apparent. He's the head of global markets at Binance. They also told me that $4 billion, it may sound like a lot. It is a drop in the bucket, as they put it, for Binance. They said it's a profitable company. U.S. business is already shut down here, guys, but it is the latest move by regulators in the crypto space after FTX. You've seen them go after Coinbase as well, Kraken this week. But big news about the world's largest crypto exchange.